Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code. This is going to be the very first video in our Java 8 tutorial series, and it's basically just going to be a pretty short video just showing you guys how to quickly set up, um, I'm not really showing you guys how to set up, just telling you what you need to install because I already have it all installed and set up, so I don't want to mess anything up by reinstalling anything. So the first things first is you need to go ahead and Google Java JDK. And now the first link is typically going to be the most recent one. So just go ahead and click that. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and click accept down here and then just choose whatever package is right for your system. I obviously have a Windows 64 bit computer, so I would choose Windows times 64. So once you have that, just go ahead and install that. I would restart your computer after you install it just to be safe, to make sure everything installed properly. Then the next thing is you have to choose which IDE you want to use. So there are a couple popular choices. I think in ranking as far as the best to the worst, I would say it goes IntelliJ, then Eclipse, then NetBeans, and then Atom. Uh, Atom is a newer, or a newer IDE. Um, I don't know how well it works with Java. Um, I'm sure it works just fine, but um, I would just go ahead and just keep it simple and just stick with using uh, Eclipse IntelliJ or Atom or Eclipse IntelliJ or NetBeans. Uh, I've personally never used NetBeans, so I can't give you any advice for it. But as far as Eclipse and IntelliJ, I started on Eclipse, so I am pretty familiar with Eclipse. I think it's a great place for beginners to start. Um, but I know IntelliJ is a pretty industry standard. Uh, IDE, I think it's a really great IDE. They do have a community version which will allow you to do everything that we have that we're going to be doing, and they do support Mac and Linux as well as uh, Windows. So I would probably just download the community edition. Um, if you are a student, they do have a student version, uh, which is the ultimate version for free. So if you have a .edu email, go ahead and sign up there. Um, but yeah, so just go ahead and download that, and then after that, just uh, restart your computer again, just to make sure everything is installed right. And then the first thing you're gonna do is, I've already done this because I recorded this video after I've already recorded a bunch of videos because I accidentally deleted a bunch, I accidentally deleted this first video. So I'm already gonna have some code on there, but don't worry about that. So the first things you're gonna have to do, as soon as this all loads here, is if you're booting up IntelliJ, and I believe in Eclipse as well, in the right sidebar here, you can just go ahead and say right click, and we'll just get rid of all this uh, here and just, uh, make it a little cleaner. So you can just go ahead and right click. You're gonna create a new module. Well, you're probably not gonna be presented with this screen. You are actually going to be presented with this screen here. So you're gonna actually wanna create a new project, then go down to empty project and create a new empty project. Then once you are inside of your empty project, right here on the left hand side, go ahead and create a new module, choose Java, make sure you choose Java 1.8, go ahead and click next and then just go ahead and give it a name and where you want the directory to be. And then what you're gonna do is you're just going to go to your SRC folder, go ahead and right click that, new Java class, and create your main class. You can name it whatever you want. And then it'll bring you to right here. So like I said, super short video, but that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, be sure to stick around for episode two where we learn about printing to the console. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.